My name is Arielle Hurst, and I'm the editor of ScrumHub.com. This week, we're back with our panelists from the Agile Development Conference to ask them question seven. How have Agile and Scrum helped you in your own development? So like I said, we use Scrum for everything. And when we started doing this about 10 years ago, we found that the customer loved it. The customer loved it, and even more importantly, you hear about these big uh, process innovation programs where companies are just pounding their developers with all this process, especially in the Washington DC area because of the government uh, piece of that. Uh, we found by using Scrum to do this that the developers loved it also. They like, oh, this stuff is great. We love working with it this way. Instead of throwing like a big set of rules at them and saying, here's how you have to behave, here's how you have to perform. So it completely revolutionized our business and um, it completely made us a unique company. You know, just being able to deliver more value, get things get things done, as opposed to just having a lot of things in progress. Uh, you know, having focus, getting some sanity back. I invited a guy to speak at a session I did at a conference called QCon. His name's David Larrabee. And he brought back in a lot of the early stuff from like the extreme programming world. And it was, you know, humility, courage, open and honest communication. That's pretty good stuff to do if you're a human being. And if you're trying to work in an environment where you're promoting success through collaboration, those are pretty fundamental things. So I think it, on my best days, I try to be really humble. On my worst days, I get up too frustrated too fast. Anybody taking the approach of understanding how to be more responsive to change, how to be more receptive to change. Uh, we understand from a brain perspective, change impacts everybody negatively. And I think Agile's helped me understand that uh, being more open and, and responsive to change allows me to be a more effective leader. The other thing it does is allows me to actually plan for change. And, and so to rather than only just responding to change as the Agile Manifesto indicates, it actually allows me to think ahead and say, okay, I'm expecting change, so what am I gonna do about it? Uh, it's helped me actually stay focused and deliver on time and under budget. You know, as developers, we think we really think we're done before we are. We think we're almost done. So this notion of working code as the measure is very critical. But the other one is the fact that you need short feedback loops. This is actually very critical. It's very important. So I can see, am I on track? I can get the discipline of an iteration, which is something Scrum provides, which is excellent, to see, okay, do I have working code at the end of the sprint, and am I, have I done it well? And the simplicity of Scrum makes that so apparent whether you have or you haven't, you can't kind of lie to yourself and fool yourself. So that's, I guess I gave you two things, but it's the notion of small steps, quick feedback, you know, and delivery of that. This is how I do software. It's how I've done software for a long time and again, short iterations, rapid feedback, automate everything. It's kind of hard to imagine doing software when you're not doing it that way. I've seen people that work in the more traditional way. And they're very smart people, they work very hard, and they forge through the pain they're used to dealing with, and they think it's normal. And a lot of the agile practices, Scrum, XP, and others, eliminate a lot of that pain. So it's, it's changed and shaped the way I develop software.